Hey, what's up guys? GameSlayer17 here again with another quick video. So, today uh, we are talking about builds, right? So, Dark Souls 3 just came out. It's been about, maybe, t I think it's been two weeks. And, um, oh, by the way, the Covenants work a little differently. So, the Covenant, you don't have to leave a Covenant. Like, you can, um, once you join a covenant you're always in it and you just go by like your symbols right there and my personal favorite covenant is aldrich the um the faithful i think it is and right now i'm just showing you my build um like i said it's been like two weeks since uh dark souls came out so there's not a lot of videos on the builds or pvp stuff um you know i've tested out a lot of weapons boss weapons just everything and uh there is a couple cool weapons and there's a couple awful weapons that look awesome um you know i feel like a lot of pvp is based on um what your other opponent has you know so you like i wouldn't always have the same weapon like i just kind of base it off whatever but right now i'm using the refined shotel and i also use a Morocco and um the refined Carthrish Shotel, and here are my stats up here. Hang on one second, guys. My stats are right here. If you want to pause it and take a picture of it. Um, but yeah, I use a refined plus six Carthrish Shotel. And what refined is, if you guys do not know, it's basically something that ups your scaling for strength and dexterity so say if you have like a d and a d for both strength and dex it would put it up for both the c's now this shotel is the reason i like it is just because it's so quick and it also does stun lock and if you guys do not know what that means is it basically stuns them just for i think it's one hit and then if they try to roll around you your shotel will um, sorry, hang on. Uh, your showtel will actually follow all the way around to wherever they roll. Um, this fight was a little tricky. This guy kept healing, and as you guys know in Dark Souls 3, you have half your health when you are a phantom, unless you put down a sign and someone summons you. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, I really like this showtel. It's really quick, it's really, uh, it does a lot of damage you can get at least five hits in if you have the endurance i'm also using my rings that i'm using is the karthus um milk ring i think it is and then the karthus blood ring i think it is and it makes me disappear while i'm rolling and gives you more invincibility while i'm rolling i'm also using the king slayer's ring and basically what that does is when they have their shield up it will um and they're guarding and you hit their shield multiple times it will actually lower their stamina more than usual which will uh actually guard break them because in this game when you have your shield up you are uh and your stamina depletes you go into a repose state and then then from there i can repose them and do a lot more damage um this is my first pvp video and uh you know, I'm just talking, giving you guys the basics. If uh, you guys are new to this game, just looking for a good uh, class, even for the advanced players. And I found the Shotel class to be awesome. You know, it was a little hard at first to get adjust to, but after I started to get used to it, it was uh, it was definitely it was definitely a lot better than all the other builds I've tried. And I've tried strength builds, intelligent builds, intelligence builds um pyromancy builds i've done the whole nine yards um let's talk about backstabs for a little bit backstabs are definitely different in this game so i think they found the right balance for the backstabs you know because in dark souls 2 you could do a lag backstab and then in dark souls 1 you could just do the um backstab and you couldn't roll away now there is no lag backstabs if um if they lag they will actually you won't even backstab them it'll just like kind of do the animation 
but that you won't hit them and that's i mean it's kind of annoying it's happened to me a couple times and they've actually been able to turn around and hit me which uh which is a little disappointing but it's whatever normally i don't try to go for backstabs i actually see if they have a shield and then if they do have a shield then i will break their guard and with the showtel and then i will repost them all right here this guy uh i think he has two people in his game if i'm correct and I'm actually doing a voiceover, so I'm not doing this while I'm playing. I did this a little while back, but I believe that this guy has two people with him. And I think I do win, if I recall correctly. But, um, yeah, I don't really use shields in PvP. I find it, you know, I find it as a weakness because it drains my stamina oh i remember this match this guy was a douche but uh i feel like it depletes your stamina too quickly and you know i feel like i don't know i just feel like double hand is more quick than to have it just one hand with a shield so i try my best to um to just maneuver around their hits just roll away and those rings the two rings that i wore if you can go back and pause it where I looked at my equipment. Those two rings are the best rings I've ever come across for PvP. This ring setup that I have, the, um, the Night Slayer rings and the two Milk rings or whatever, is the best rings that I've ever put on for um, PvP. You know, and they're awesome for PvE as well. I can uh, roll away from a lot of hits and they've saved my ass a bunch of times. So, well, that's good. Um trying to figure out this fight if i remember correctly i do kill him in the end but yeah guys uh this show tell is just amazing it's crazy i believe i have 23 strength and 22 decks i put a refined on it so it could you know give me more scaling with the weapon it's only 152 plus 100 but if you get a bunch of hits in their health depletes so quickly it is just insane and also, if you break their guard, because they'll have their shield up, and then you'll just break their guard away. And if also, if you have that Night Slayer's ring on, it's definitely going to um, put them in the repose state, so you can do some crazy damage with that. Uh, the critical damage is pretty good. It's definitely not as good as, like, a Murakamo, a Murakamo or a um, Fume Greatsword, but it is really good. Um, compared to this class, another good one was a uh, black blade. If you guys have a hold of that, um, that is an awesome blade. But throw me a like, throw me a comment if you have any questions. And I would appreciate it if you guys would tell me what else you want me to do. Uh, other videos, other types of builds, whatever you guys want. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.